Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how you can uh, customize the toolbar. So uh, this is how our application looks like. So nothing fancy here, just a regular uh, uh, simple project. Okay, so the first thing what we are going to do, uh, we're going to add the toolbar inside our uh, activity main layout. Okay, and uh, let's uh, open up our... Uh, text here and uh, we're going to uh, use uh, application bar layout or app bar layout and we're going to wrap around our uh, toolbar okay so let's set the width and height to match the parent okay and uh, just copy or cut this uh, toolbar and paste inside our app bar layout okay and now select this uh, app bar layout and uh, connect left right and top constraint okay so that's fine and uh, let's run our application to see how it look like so uh, we have a toolbar and our action bar so uh, we need to change that so we need to remove our action bar and the easiest way to remove that uh, is just to use a no action bar theme or uh, you can do that programmatically in a main activity for example you just need to use this uh, hide method okay but we're not going to do that because we have already changed the theme okay so let's run our application to see again Okay, so the action bar disappeared and only and uh, we can see the only the toolbar. So uh, we cannot see this um, uh, activity title, but uh, we're going to change that. And uh, first let's change the ID, for example, for our toolbar. And we're going to use this set support action bar and we're going to pass our toolbar here. So now when we run our, our application, uh, we're going to see the name of our uh, activity here. Okay, so as you can see, it is a black uh, color. So we can change that easily on our uh, toolbar view here and you just need to add a title text color and let's set this uh, color to white. Also we can customize our uh, title with a title attribute so let's set that to welcome. Okay let's run our application to see how will that look. Okay so now it is fine and uh, we're going to customize our toolbar uh, furthermore. So uh, we're going to add a few uh, views here so first uh, let's add a constraint layout inside our app bar layout and let's place our toolbar inside this uh, new constraint layout so we need to fix this and uh, okay first let's connect uh, left right and the top constraint of our toolbar to our constraint layout and uh, we need to change this uh, top uh, constraint to zero okay and now everything should look fine we're going to add a text view and the image view inside our toolbar okay so first here uh, let's add this uh, text view and let's place that uh, for example on the right side you can place that wherever you want but uh, it's mostly good uh, to place that on the right side where uh, uh, the menu should be located uh, in uh, regular cases. Okay so here let's uh, style our text view just a little bit so let's change the ID first uh, let's change the text to zero so this uh, text view will represent the number of likes and you will see how will that look so let's add a text color to white text style to bold and we can also add a text size to increase the size to 18 uh, sp all right and on the left side of this text view uh, we're going to add uh, one more image view so first let's add uh, one icon in our project so inside our drawable uh, directory we're going to add a new vector asset and uh, we're going to choose a simple icon from a uh, our uh, material uh, repository here so let's choose this favorite icon we can just change the name okay click finish and now let's add an image view here inside our uh, app bar layout okay so let's place this uh, image on the right side and as you can see it is very easy to customize uh, this toolbar so let's connect those constraints right constraint should be for example six and let's connect top and bottom as well so now uh, we can change the icon color as well so in our image view uh, here let's set a tint attribute and let's set that to white okay so now uh, basically this is how uh, our toolbar uh, should look like and uh, programmatically inside our activity we can change those uh, values of this text for example whenever a user clicks a button like or a favorite this number could be increased so that's uh, all up to you okay let's run this application to see how will that look as you can see it looks very nice okay and uh, furthermore we can access uh, those views inside our main activity with, uh, just by referencing the the id so uh, it's simple as that and uh, for example we could add uh, some button here and set the on click listener so i'm not going to do that right now but uh, i just want to show you what uh, you can do with that 
and let's here just paste the id of our number text and uh, we can just change the text inside our own create method so when I, when we start application this uh, number will be changed okay so this is just an example you can do many complex stuff with this uh, so uh, use your imagination that's the most important thing to know and uh, that will be all for this video uh, thank you for watching please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one